should you summon on Yorkshire's banner? And right away, I'm gonna say no, absolutely not. But let's talk about it in a bit more detail. Firstly and foremostly, the Yorkshire himself and his banner unit, Yorjarobi, both of them are good units. In fact, I would go as far as to say, both of them are very good units, but neither of them are exceptional units. Both of them are quite good, but I would not give either of them exceptional. We'll start by saying that. Both of them are good, but not exceptional. But the rest of their banner is complete and utter garbage. For example, let's say you do a multi. Let's say you get Trunks. Are you happy? No. If you get Freezer or Goku over here, are you happy? Not really. If you get the Blue Boys, are you happy? Most likely not. They are not that good. And then Ginyu. Ginyu is still decent, but are you going to be that happy if you pull him? For most people, I'm going to say probably not. Therefore, the banner is definitely not worth it. Even if there's discounts, even if there's discounts, the banner's not worth it. But let's say they change the banner. Let's say they put a Kid Goku there, for example. At that point, is it worth it? If there's discounts, yes. If there's no discounts, then no. But assuming that Kid Goku is not on the banner, even if there's discounts, it's not going to be worth it. We'll start by saying that. That's the first thing. And the reason it's so easy for me to say skip this banner is because there's so much coming up. Firstly and foremostly, let's talk about Golden Week. Let's say, for example, my prediction comes to pass and we get a UI Goku versus Jiren for Golden Week. Let's say that happens hypothetically. Would you not rather summon on that? And then on top of that, let's say Orange Piccolo returns on their banner. My boys, that is where you want to summon. And even if you want to skip that banner, let's say Orange Piccolo is on the banner and you get him with coins. And let's say you skip the rest of the banner. My boys, my boys, that, that, my boys, my boys, the anniversary is just a couple months away after Golden Week. And these banners are the best of all time. I mean, just look at them. The best unit in the game, by a decent margin, Goku and Vegeta, the GT duo. Yes, the banner units suck on both banners, but the rest of the banners are sick. The Gammas, these guys are decent. He's usable, definitely still good. The LR Super Saiyan 4s. UI Goku with the dodge is really good. Vegito with the Easy A is one of the best units in the game. And then Bootanks could be coming up upon an Easy A. And then if we go to the other banner, like I said, the banner units suck. But the LR Boo Boys, whatever you want to call them, the Boo Duo, they are a good unit, easily a top 5 unit without a doubt. I know people are underrating them, but they are still top tier. Cooler, I would say, is not a top 10 unit anymore, but he's very close to top 10. A very good unit, aged very well. Gamma 1, easily one of the best units in the game. Freezer's usable. The LR gods are still really good with their links and with their team. Definitely a super good unit, have aged really well. Vegito could be coming up on an easy A. Blue Vegito will easy A in the next anniversary. And then Blue Gogito will easy A in this anniversary. And he's super good, just like the Vegito. Both of these banners are the best banners to date. They are the best banners to date. And not to mention, we'll have tickets on these banners. We'll have discounts on these banners. We'll have the 3 plus 1 on these banners. But these banners are way, way better than Yamcha's banner. If you summon on Yamcha's banner, if you summon on Yamcha's banner, if I see you, it's on sight. Let me not catch you summoning on these banners. I don't want to catch any of you summoning on this banner because this banner is trash. Timothy, I'm talking to you. Is Timothy even a name? I don't know. The point is, I'm talking to you. Do not summon on this banner, please. For your own sake, do not summon. So like I said, we've got a golden week, we've got the anniversaries, and then after these banners, and as part of the anniversary, we've got the carnival banners, and honestly, as time has gone on, I'm thinking I don't recommend people summon on these banners. Like, to be fair, the banners actually really good. Because Kid Gohan's good, Freezer's good, and then Cooler's pretty good, and then these guys are usable as well. So the banners not bad. Honestly, you would rather summon on these banners than summon for Yamcha because these banners aren't bad whatsoever. And then Goku's banner is even better because he's got this Goku, who's easily one of the best units in the game. Tech Carnival Goku, who is also easily one of the best units in the game. Merge the Masu. When he gets some help, he gets a brand new team. 
He's going to easily be one of the best units in the game. Goku and Gohan are still decent. And then this Kaioken Goku is also acceptable. Both these banners are really good. But even then, I don't think I recommend that people summon on either of these banners. You would rather go all in on the anniversary part 1 banners. Let's do a quick subscriber challenge. If you guys plan to fully skip Yamcha's banner. If you plan to skip it. Even if you don't skip it. Let's say you just plan to skip it. Then you have to subscribe. Because that is the challenge. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, then do subscribe. Especially if you just fail that challenge because that is the challenge also do leave a like and comment because those things do help out with that said thanks for watching and i will see you guys next time